Okay, as I said, the next thing I want to move on to is building up the tail boom, front gearbox, rear gearbox, and uh, I've got those the main parts of that out of the bags here. And as you can see, the front gearbox is already built, and actually we don't really need to do anything with that other than bolt it into the frames. The rear gearbox um, and tail drive is kind of partially built. We need to take this apart really and lock tight screws, make sure everything is done properly um, and then build up the bits that aren't done because it's not quite complete. We haven't got the links from the pitch slider to the grips. Obviously the tail blades aren't in here. There's a ball missing um, that needs to go on the pitch slider so that can slide backwards and forwards. So we have got a little bit of work to do with that. Um, but first things first, we need to take it apart, make sure there's the appropriate grease in the various bearings and all that kind of stuff. Make sure everything's locked tighted. Uh, just check the build that's been done um, at the factory and make sure everything is correct and safe. Okay, so I've now done some basic prep work on the tail blades. I've uninstalled these greased um, and lubricated the bearings with the provided uh, Align grease in the kit stuff here. There's actually no grease on the bearings at all in the blade grips. Um, re tighted those up having greased the bearings and checked that the bearings were the right way around. Uh, I installed the ball onto the pitch slider and the ball onto the bell crank and then screwed this into place onto, the, onto that ball so this now functions. And we, uh, I checked all of the various screws at the back here made sure they're all locked tighted uh, as required. So the next thing we're on to now is installing the little link arms that go from the pitch slider here uh, onto the blade grips themselves. Okay, so the first job is putting the little brass insert into the arm, which I've done there. Uh, next job is to bolt this arm onto the slider itself. And then we've got another little screw. Let me show you here which we use for bolting you know, this to the blade grip itself. Anyway, I'll put them both on and you can see what it looks like. Well, one thing to be very, very aware of is how much Loctite you use at this stage because it's very, very easy to gum up the uh, pitch slider with uh, Loctite and basically ruin the action of your tail. So uh, really very, very sparing with Loctite at this point. Okay, so when you've done it, it should look like this. Um, and uh, if I just turn it like this, you can see how I've connected those linkages up and how the action of the tail rotor works based on it. And the place where you need to be really, really careful with Loctite is on these screws here. Um, I find that sometimes it's easier to actually put the Loctite in the hole than it is to put it on the screw uh, in these instances, because you don't want to get any Loctite in that little brass bushing. Um, but again, it's just a tiny, tiniest amounts of Loctite. Uh, otherwise, this all gets gummed up and then the movement becomes really horrible. Um, okay, so that's the uh, gearbox mainly built. So uh, we can now move on to putting together the, uh, well, we can put the blade grips, uh, sorry, the blades into the blade grips for a start. But um, after that, when we're then working on the torque tube itself and um, putting the bearing on the torque tube and inserting the torque tube into the boom. Okay, so just very, very quickly, that's the blades in the grips. And uh, we can now move on to the torque tube. Okay, so for the torque tube, what I've just done is push the bearing inside of the little rubber for the torque tube. Let me just uh, zoom out a little bit so that this can focus. So um, you can see the bearing inside the rubber there, uh, and that's going to go onto the torque tube. So this is uh, the torque tube, and this is going to go a little bit of effort. And let's put it on the other end.
Okay, so after a little bit of coaxing, the bearing was a bit stiff going over the torque tube ends. That's the bearing in its rubber on the torque tube. And basically, we just follow the directions in the manual for where this needs to be glued using a bit of cyano uh, on the torque tube uh, shaft itself here. Um, and we'll just glue that in place and then we can use some grease to help this rubber down into the boom. Um, a line helpfully provide these days this uh, kind of see-through tube which you can use to push the, uh, you know, this sort of goes, give a demonstration, this goes like that. Can you see how that butts up onto there? And this allows you to push that down into the into the boom uh, t to the uh, right position. So uh, that's what we'll do next. We'll glue that bearing in place as per the instruction manual, and then get the drive shaft down inside the boom. Okay, so I've now got my torque tube inserted into the boom. One bit sticking out one end, and the other end sticking out the other. Uh, and I offset the bearing on the uh, shaft of the torque tube by the recommended five to seven centimeters so it's not dead in the center of the torque tube shaft. So we're now in a position to start uh, putting together uh, our front gearbox and our rear gearbox onto the boom. And this is just a case of slotting things together uh, and bolting them up. So uh, I'll go ahead and uh, install the front and rear gearbox on um, and uh, then we're just looking at putting on the horizontal fin and the boom supports. Okay, something just to remember when inserting the uh, boom into the front gearbox. So this is your, your front gearbox here. So when you're inserting into that, bear in mind that you've got a slot here in the boom. And uh, that goes into a slot which you can see down inside uh, the the gearbox here so you need to put it in the, the boom into the gearbox the right way around otherwise it won't um, match up with uh, the key inside there that goes in the slot in the boom so it's just something to just be aware of okay so here we have the uh, our rear gearbox uh, I just want to show you this plastic uh, insert here this uh, goes here and the, the peg in that goes through the hole there like that Okay. Now you'll notice that the peg also sticks out into the boom and if you look at the boom you'll see there is a hole in it that that peg needs to go into. So when you insert the boom into here and then you put this piece in you need to make sure that it inserts through the side of the gearbox and into the hole in the boom. So I'll do that next. Okay so here we see the vertical fin bolted through that plastic piece that I was just showing you with these two bolts and these washers into the gearbox uh, and it closes this gap here which effectively clamps this onto the boom but also because the pin in this plastic piece is inserted in the boom that acts as an extra safeguard to make sure that the boom can't and uh, the gearbox at the back here can't come off um, you know during a fast pirouette or something like that. So that's uh, the gearbox bolted on the back. So now we've just got to mount the horizontal fin. Okay, so here we have the uh, clamp for the horizontal fin. We've got a couple of uh, kind of uh, recessed washers. Those go on the top of the fin. And then these ordinary little washers here, just flat washers, um, they go on the sides of the clamp for bolting the boom supports on. Uh, and of course this piece just goes around around the boom uh, and is clamped down onto the boom with these screws that go through the vertical fin uh, and you'll see that there is a, uh, a hole in the top of the fin here that this rounded piece comes through when you mount this on onto there so i'll mount that up onto the boom okay so there we have the horizontal fin mounted onto the boom with the boom clamping system here. I haven't tightened this up yet because this needs to move backwards and forwards a little bit once we get it in the right place, um, bolting the, uh, the hole of the completed boom um, into the back of the helicopter. So down this end, we've got our, our tail all complete. 
finished. And at the other end, we've got our front gearbox there waiting to be inserted into the frames. Uh, and that's effectively what I'm going to do right now is uh, fit this into the frames and bolt it into place. Okay, so there we have the boom installed into the back of the machine. We've got all the uh, 12 mil screws here, here and here. And then um, the boom support screwed in at the back here. Plus we've also got the screws and their uh, nylock nuts on the, the uh, boom clamp here. Uh, in place and also not forgetting the little round headed screw here which inserts into a hole in the boom so this is pinning the boom so that the boom can't exit this clamp if this clamp for some reason fails this pin here that where the screw goes right through the plastic into the boom the whole little hole in the boom should keep that boom in place so that's the uh, boom all bolted into the back of the frames so uh, we can now start looking at uh, getting some of the uh, bell cranks and stuff that go around the shared CCPM shaft uh, into place uh, and start building up uh, the control mechanisms. Um, I've also got to bolt the motor into the frames yet as well, and um, that's still to do. Okay, so as you can see here, I've just installed the motor um, and the orientation that we Put the motor into the mount with means that the wires here are sticking forward and um, towards our speed controller. The motor is bolted in. Uh, I'll try and show this, turn this around to try and show you this. Uh, right. Yeah, so these bolts here are the bolts for the motor mount. Um, and what I found was that you can't actually get the motor into those bolt holes because the shaft of the motor hits the bearing support beneath it. So if you undo this rear screw here and loosen this screw here and the same on the other side, it allows the bearing support to rotate so that the shaft of the motor will locate into it and then twist as you twist the motor around into position. And then you can tighten these up afterwards um, and obviously tighten up the bolts for the motor mount. Okay, so uh, that's the motor in place. Um, I'm now going to start um, looking at putting together the uh, CCPM shaft, uh, which we talked about a little bit earlier, which goes in here, and uh, the bell cranks that will need to be on that. Uh, and we've also got to install the uh, servos, of course, after that. And there's a, there's a shell for the servo that goes in here as well for the elevator servo. So uh, that's uh, what's coming next. Thank <music> you.